After over a year and a half of playing Shop Titans and thousands of hours, I have finally achieved every goal I set for myself. In the beginning, it was the simple things. Unlocking every crafting slot, shop expansion, furniture slot, quest slot, market slot, hero slot, and maxing out a few heroes with the best available gear at the time. I then set my sights on reaching max energy and grinding towards the top of the net worth leaderboards and found myself in the top 15 for months. Then I began the long grind to becoming the first free to play player ever to reach level 80. With this completed and tier 10 on the horizon, the final goals began to take shape. Mastering every available blueprint in the game including every chest exclusive item, ascending every line to 15 stars, completing every pet skin, unlocking 3 billion gold worth of basement upgrades. The final obstacle before completing all my goals was having an equal share of investments in every single building to reach the ultimate end game guild. This left me with well over 40 billion gold to go when I finally left my long term guild Phoenix Ascent at the beginning of November due to real life commitments and knowing I would be retiring this account soon. I knew this final stretch of 40 billion gold would be a real challenge, but I could not say I completed this account until it was finished. Finally, I can say it is done. The end of an era. Although the desire to play my main account was slowly fading, my desire to play the game was not. I genuinely enjoy creating guides, talking strategy, optimizing, and sharing this journey with people through streaming and content creation. But where to go from here? An idea has been growing in my mind over the last months. What other ways could this game be played that would be unlike anything else? Is there a way to play an account that would be a whole new experience, starting all over again? Welcome to Iron Man RM a Shop Titans account unlike any other. The rules are simple, absolutely no access to market whatsoever. Gems can only be used to rush furniture or open chests. No unlocking anything with gems, I must wait to unlock at certain levels with gold. No joining a guild unless I am in the top half of players and bests. And lastly, I will have access to Royal Merchant and the Academy so I can create runestones for enchantments and repair the gear that I will inevitably need to craft for my own heroes. I do not know what lies ahead, but I am so excited for a brand new challenge with obstacles to overcome. I hope you are too. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of the new series, Iron Man RM. I actually just finished an eight and a half, nine hour stream, which was super fun. We had a great time. And made a lot of progress so just want to fill you in on what's going on with the series in general so <laughs> basically what's going to happen is i'm going to be playing this account from now on i'm not going to be playing on my main at all this is what things look like right now right after the stream and so this is the account that i'll be streaming on fridays and then on a semi-regular basis, I'm wanting to put out episodes or like progress videos or something that you could watch over a period of time to watch basically from level one to however far I am at that point in time. And so some of the um, footage or the clips that I'll be using for the series are going to be from streaming and some of it will be me privately playing and talking and showing you guys kind of my progress or what's been happening along the way. So I hope that this series um, is insightful, is enjoyable, is something that you can watch over a period of time and just uh, enjoy watching a progression of an account over a period of time. So let's jump into uh, what's happened basically from level one on, which is about nine hours nine to 10 hours of streaming total. And then I'll explain to you kind of what my thoughts are going forward and maybe show you a couple of things. And that'll be episode one. And then later on, episodes will definitely look a lot different than that. So I hope you enjoy the series. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being the best community ever. Please make sure you join the Discord and uh, find whatever you need there, whether it be community, friends to play with, people to chat with, um, tools and resources or whatever get your questions answered and just enjoy this community so thanks for being part of it thanks for uh joining me on this journey and i hope you enjoy it talk to you guys soon am i gonna do the donut i should do the donut that would be awesome actually so we're just gonna go in order i think just so that i don't get confused and i never make a duplicate so we're gonna go soldier thief mage and then we'll go barbarian monk cleric type thing so we'll, we'll go in order so we're gonna start with a soldier Oh man, Argon's a beast. Did you see that? Oh yeah, doesn't he give you like a free legendary or something? He 
Yeah, I knew it was okay. Oh yeah, it's a legendary and a blueprint. Man, I actually got to play this account properly now. Like try hard. This is crazy. It's frustrating that I can't search our jet hero slot and worker. Good. Now buy with gold, rogue, thief. Now this is raising. We're going to change the other name. I got to honor the OG. You know what I'm saying? So that's for you. My Lionel, my friend. Guys, I'm rolling it. I have 800 gold. This is incredible. 71 energy already? Are you kidding me? I know you're jealous. Hero slot, worker. What's my goal in this account? That's a really good question, Chewy. I don't know yet. I think what's really going to determine what my goal ends up being on this account, honestly, is just how difficult it is. Because if I'm getting to the point that I can't do anything on the account, like it's just stuck and I've been at the same level for like a month and I can't make enough gold to unlock anything. And it's just like basically dead in the water because I can't do anything else on it. Then I'll probably move on. Who knows what, what we could achieve. I mean, it would be really nice to get like all the shop expands, but like I said, I'm not unlocking anything with gems, right? So like what... What level do I have to be at to open to get my ninth expansion, like my final expand? Yeah, so this will be a Royal Merchant account with Academy so I can repair gear and make enchantments. Because without those two things, this account's dead in the water from the start. I think just because I don't have access from market, making gold is going to be super slow. I think that that's going to be my slowest thing. I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling. Like, I, I do think that it's going to be really hard to make gold and it's going to be a bottleneck for me for sure. <laughs> Quests, like components and stuff, I would agree with you, but now that Mundra's here and I can convert chests to components, I don't think it's going to be as bad. I think that components will actually be okay because I'm not going to be selling any chests in market. So I'm going to have a lot of extra chests and I can just convert my chest to components if I don't have, if I have the crafting slot. So I think that that's actually going to save me a lot of time. Level 80 for final expand. Okay, so that's not possible. Okay, so maybe the goal is to complete the donut. What's what's the what's the eighth expand? If we do donut all the way, what's what's my eighth expand? Level seventy. Okay, so my goal in this account might be level seventy in my eighth expand. It would also be awesome to have every item mastered. Could you imagine? And like all twenty or all the heroes that I can, like one of each hero. So this is the other weird thing. I'm gonna actually gonna have to say, okay, I need to make armor. I need to make gloves. I need to make shields like i'm gonna need to equip all of my own heroes by myself and i can't buy anything from market so it's gonna be really crazy trying to like figure out what i'm actually gonna do like oh my goodness at level 60 i can get my last hero slot and have one of each hero so that's pretty sweet we're gonna go dog who should the the dog <laughs> Oh my goodness. I am a genius. Oh, this is driving me freaking crazy. <laughs> You're suffering as our entertainment. I'm actually okay with that. I'm good with it. As long as I can teach you how to play the game properly on your actual account so that, you know, you get to enjoy the game while I suffer, I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, actually. Oh, baby. Only 15 minutes. Whew. Okay, I have an email that I can show you guys that says that I have a market ban. So it, oh, you have been banned from the market for 364, 36,488 days. And level eight, that's what I said we were going to finish with. All right, let's go. We did it. <laughs> Jordan James, bro. Thank you so much. You guys are insane. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I've been doing a little bit of questing, like super minimal, just so that we have like some base components. And I got one more chest too, just so that we could hold more. Um, but other than that, I haven't done much at all. 90 energy, 2800, what? Let's go, level 10. Yeah, if I can get all of my, my racks and stuff to level two right away. Yeah, that'll be so nice. Where am I? Am I even still in top 100? There we go. This is my main. So let's open some chests and get some more components. I think I have three chests to open, which is nice. Shards. Oh my gosh. First chest we open on this account is shards. That, that is a good sign. That's like two and a half percent. Scrolls. 
that is the perfect chest. Literally, that is the perfect chest, the definition. This is the component I needed. Oh my goodness. What will you do with your gems if you're not using them to open anything early or buy off market? Can you speed up upgrades or open chests? Those are the only things I can do, Oliver. Really good question, man. Or we could just start our own guild and just invite like total noobs. <laughs> Should we do that? <laughs> Rob's tots. <laughs> Scotty, you win, bro. That's it. We did it. <laughs> open to all level one let's go <laughs> oh man that's so funny after you but nice guys i just got tier three market that's awesome what whoa what just happened that was like a giant sea slug Level 15, hero slot, quest slot, expand. Let's go. All right, and bounty board, beautiful. So, design, expand. We're gonna go donut this way for now. 30K, add hero slot, buy with 5K gold. My brother is a barbarian, we're gonna go with this. There we go. I might on this account. Look at that. Beautiful design. Furniture. We're going to add a herb here. Good. And then we're going to add probably one more chest. Furniture. Mannequin. Where am I going to use my shards? I don't know yet. Um... There's so many considerations with this account and I have to play it so differently that um, it's really, really difficult to say this is going to be my priority or this is what I'm going to focus on because there's so many things that could become a major bottleneck and I don't even know what those things are yet. So I'm probably just going to have to like wait it out and see what my bottleneck becomes and then ascend things to do with that because I'm going to be getting one of every single type of hero. And in that, I'm going to need to be crafting every type of item to be able to equip them, right? So there's no point in just like, okay, I'm only going to make these four types of items because eventually I'm going to need every single type of item. So it doesn't really make sense for me to do it otherwise. So, yes! Level 20. That is huge. Uh, so yeah, we'll see. I don't know what my ascensions will look like yet. New craft slot, new hero slot, new trade slot, worker. Oh, yes. That is so nice. I think I got to do it. Oh, there's a 250k. I just noticed it. Let's go. Yes. 250k. Yeah, I will end up kicking people from my guild who are too high in best. Because my rule is that I have to stay above the line of like half half invest or equal equal invest within the guild so if people are above that or bringing up the average too much then they get the boot hmm all right y'all i think this is gonna be our last couple of sales here so if you haven't joined discord do it up thank you all for everything today it has been a ball the last nine hours with you thank you for the 50 something insane 50 something Twitch follows today. That is nuts. And all the donos and everything. Appreciate you guys so much. There it is. Surcharge. Man. There it is. Let's claim it. Million bucks. Day one. Million gold. So that was the first 10 hours or so on stream that got us to the point that we're at now. And now we move forward. Basically, we have our third shop expansion. We've got a couple things to buy at level 25. And then our next shop expand is at level 30. So we'll be saving uh, probably a million and a half gold for there. In terms of our heroes, we're going to be getting one of each hero and uh just kind of equipping them from here it's going to be super random stuff i can't even make necklaces or some of the things that i need to equip them um in terms of components 
that's probably going to be a huge bottleneck for us, at least at the start. I've only got one type of component right now. And so down the road, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to end up mastering all of the items that don't require components. And then I'm going to be getting premium workers, transferring over my chests into components and just starting to master things as I go and trying to surcharge everything other than just tier ones and using my tier ones is basically just fodder discount items these will be my three main items because this um will give an item to every single customer who comes in so i'll have these all the time and then just try to surcharge everything else and be focusing as much as i possibly can on energy i hope the intro gave you more than enough information for basically what the restrictions are on the account basically what i'm planning on doing in guild like right now, if you look at our guild net worth, we've got 11 million, 11.9 million, and we've got nine members. So my plan is to divide 11 million by nine. And if I'm above that line, then I'm okay. And if not, then I either have to switch guilds or quit the guild. Those are my only options. And so we've got a couple guys just from stream here who are obviously a lot higher up. So most likely just because of the balance between the nine members, I'm going to have to kick the top couple members, just how it is with the restrictions that I've made. And then as I have more invested and there's more members and it's divided more evenly, then obviously um, that's going to look a lot different going forward. So that's kind of the basis for it. I'm going to have the paid workers. I can't join any big guilds. I can't access market whatsoever. I do have a market ban self-imposed that I asked for, uh, making money, hopefully investing quite a bit more because obviously that is very bad <laughs> and, uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, I'll update you guys as we go. So I should hit level 25 here any minute. Uh, lots of these bigger items that I'm ending up getting are from Tower, which has been really, really nice. So we should at 25, it unlocks some stuff, be able to spend the majority of our gold. And then I'll know how much that I can invest. So this is actually like a super pivotal point in time. I'll explain why when we get the level. There it is, level 25. So we have new champion, new hero slot, new quest slot, and a new worker. And unlock the next slot, which is really nice. And then another hero slot for a hundred thousand. And now we are on the first or the third fighter class, which is another 50k. I'll name this after somebody soon. So this will be 500,000 gold. So that's the next thing that I'm saving for. So that will be unlocked. And then once that's unlocked, we can start investing a lot more than we have been, which will be really nice because then we'll have more options in terms of guild. And then also, with another quest slot, we can be doing three quests at a time. The last thing is, it's really lucky actually that I've been doing Tower, or Tower was the event that started off the account because we've been able to finish, um, we're on the 11th level of Tower now, and I got Royal Merchant, so I've been able to claim these and have a bunch of components to start off too, which is huge. And then because all of our heroes are past like level seven, level eight, level nine, they can all now wear tier three equipment so that now that I have the components, I can craft and equip all of these heroes, at least with tier threes. And then once they're all equipped with tier threes that I can craft in the next day, I'm hoping that I can get done a lot more of the tower, which means I get a ton of free items and a lot of like the higher tier items that are going to be a, worth a lot more than what I can actually um, quest for or make for myself. So it's giving me a huge boost in gold. Well, here we go. This is our 15th floor of tower. There's less than a day left, but this was getting to the point of being more difficult. So hopefully we can finish it. And I think this will be the last boss, at least that we'll be able to complete, but got pretty far. Perfect. No deaths too. That's crazy. Some items, get some gems. So most likely I won't be able to finish another boss, but, um, Lots of items. We ended up investing exactly a million, uh, which is perfect. So we have almost 10% of our total guild. So within the next day, I'll have that done. So that's it for episode one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'm looking forward to all the progress as we go forward. So hope you guys are having a good one. Talk to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Peace out.